Miley Cyrus may have a lot of fans, but she's also made some enemies, too. Join us as we take a look at some of the celebrities who apparently can't stand the singer formerly known as Hannah Montana. Prior to the 2015 MTV Video Music Awards, rapper Nicki Minaj posted a series of tweets criticizing the lack of nominations for women of color, writing, Black women influence pop culture so much but are rarely rewarded for it. VMA's host Miley Cyrus later told the New York Times she felt the complaints were more about Minaj herself than broader race issues. What I read sounded very Nicki Minaj, which, if you know Nicki Minaj, is not too kind. It's not very polite. When the two met face-to-face -face at the VMAs, Minaj concluded an acceptance speech with, Back to this b that had a lot to say about me in the press the other day, Miley, what's good? If you thought the drama was over, think again. Q Cyrus's 2019 track, Catitude, which seemingly referenced Minaj's former feud with Cardi B with the lyric, I love you, Nikki, but I listen to Cardi. While Cyrus claimed on Capital Breakfast, I don't actually think there is beef now anymore. Minaj responded on Queen Radio, A Purdue chicken can never talk about queens. After Miley Cyrus's headline-making 2013 VMAs performance, former American Idol winner Kelly Clarkson didn't hold back. In a since-deleted tweet via the Daily Mail, Clarkson wrote, Just saw a couple of performances from the VMAs last night. Two words, hashtag pitchy strippers. Cyrus did not respond to the tweet, but at the time, Cyrus's fans jumped into Clarkson's mentioned. One person wrote, Kelly Clarkson called Miley a pitchy stripper. Do you think she's mad because her past few singles flopped and wasn't asked to perform? I don't seem calm, but this is really calm for me. I feel very calm and you very calm, like peaceful. Yeah. In 2019, Clarkson covered Cyrus's mega-hit Wrecking Ball on her talk show, perhaps signaling an end to the alleged feud. Plenty of celebrities had thoughts on Miley Cyrus's 2013 VMAs performance, but no celebrity went completely in on the performance quite like music and film legend Cher. To say she ripped it to shreds would be an understatement. Cher told USA Today, She can't dance, her body looked like hell, the song wasn't great, one cheek was hanging out, and chick, don't stick out your tongue if it's coded. We wonder if there were any aliens who could see this nuclear take from orbit. Who can forget that line, and the Jay-Z song was on, in the earworm that was Cyrus's smash hit Party in the USA. However, in a 2019 interview on Miley World Web, she was asked which Hove song inspired one of her biggest hits. Incredibly, she replied, I've never heard a Jay-Z song, I don't listen to pop music. She went on to say that she didn't write the song, but instead, I chose it because I needed something to go with my clothing line. It took four years for the legendary rapper to respond, but when he did, he did so in typical Jay-Z fashion. On the 2013 track, Somewhere in America, Jay-Z raps, They see I'm still putting work in, cause somewhere in America, Miley Cyrus is still twerking. Was Jay-Z making a sarcastic dig, or is he a fan? You be the judge. In 2014, Katy Perry supported Miley Cyrus on tour, and in what we assume was a delight to the audience, Cyrus apparently crawled over to Perry's front row seat and offered up a playful kiss. At least, that's what Perry thought it was going to be. The I Kissed a Girl singer told an Australian talk show soon after, I just walked up to her to give her, like, a friendly girly kiss. And then she, like, tried to move her head and go deeper, and I pulled away. God knows where that tongue has been. We don't know. That tongue is so infamous. It's definitely going to be lively. Cyrus shot back on Twitter, making reference to Perry's ex, John Mayer, and his tongue. She wrote, Girl, if you're worried about where tongues have been, good thing your ex-boo is your ex-boo, cause we all know where that tongue has been. John Mayer would probably like to be excluded from this narrative. During 2013, Sir Elton John had some harsh criticisms of the young starlet. He told the Australian, I look at Miley Cyrus and I see a meltdown waiting to happen, and she's so young. But she's got two records in the top 20, so who is going to stop her? Cyrus has chilled out a bit since then, and a mere five years later, she joined John on stage to perform his classic hit, Tiny Dancer, at the 60th annual Grammys. 
Legendary comedian Joan Rivers spent the latter part of her stellar career calling out celebrities for their fashion faux pas on her show Fashion Police. So did you really think she'd treat Miley Cyrus's 2013 VMAs outfits any differently? In an interview with OK Magazine, the late television host didn't hold back, calling Cyrus's choice of fashion disgusting. Rivers also accused Cyrus of being a poor role model, telling Entertainment Tonight, no, this is not normal behavior for a 20-year-old. This is just disgraceful. It makes me very sad, too, because she could have been such a role model and she could have achieved the sexiness without going through all this insanity. But Rivers wasn't quite done with her critique of Cyrus just yet. She dressed up as the singer for Halloween in an inflated suit with her best representation of Cyrus's VMAs outfit. That's some serious shade, folks. Former Full House star Jodie Sweetin had a very public battle with drug and alcohol addiction. In her 2009 memoir, Unsweetened, the actress admitted she started drinking at 14 before moving on to cocaine and ecstasy. Sweetin entered recovery in 2008 and has since earned her degree as a drug and alcohol counselor. According to E! News, in 2016, Miley Cyrus posted a now-deleted Instagram photo of Sweetin during her time as an addict with the caption, current mood, hashtag Fuller House. When E! News asked Sweeten about Cyrus's dig, she responded with nothing but positivity. I don't pay attention to negative stuff. I have so much good stuff going on in my life right now that I try not to pay attention. As Taylor Swift would say, sometimes it's best just to shake it off. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.